Alrighty, Mr. Gatekeeper here. We got a, I know you probably always hear me say unique. <laughs> Not every box is unique to me, but these right here are uh, fairly uh, unique boxes, and I'm going to tell you why. I got two twin Palomar 300As here. These are, I repeat, these are original Palomars. As far as I know, these are original Palomars. This is the first amp I have come across being within the CB area, 10 meter area, to where the AB bias circuit is actually regulated. It is has a regulated AB bias circuit. And I'll point that out to you here in a little bit. Well, I'm keeping one of these. I'm selling one of these. I'll be keeping the one that I'll be uh, demonstrating now. I still got a little work to do with this one right here. Nothing major. We'll be doing a video on this one next. Alrighty. There was two uh, non-DOT 2879s in this. And I uh, pulled them. Because them things are so scarce now. I pulled them out and put uh, two MRF 492s. Uh, MRF 492. Motorola MRF 492s, they are 70 watt, 50 megahertz pills. Pretty much they are the same thing as 1446s, believe it or not. Now these things are rocking and a rolling for being what they are. And I'll show you what I mean. That one as well has 492s. I got that one from a fellow in Canada. And I seen the 492s. And I seen that, I was like, I got two of them, so I threw them in here. Alright, this is a pretty decent repair I changed the uh, three LEDs to blue in the front here all right I had to change the uh, transistor in the preamp section all righty right here is the uh, regulator for the AB bias circuit right here it's a tip 31 very neat circuit very neat. Don't matter if I'm giving this thing 18 volts. It's going to give those transistors 0 0.65, 0 0.7 volts on the base. I put this heat sink on here because I was not happy about that. I did some long, long keying on this thing, and um, that th I could that thing that, that uh, regulator was getting so hot. That transistor was getting so hot right there that I could smell it. That is a cigarette too, fellas. You know the drill. <laughs> so I uh, put a heat sink on it just to be safe. Soak some of that heat up. I did the same thing to that one as well. Alright, we had to redo the whole entire input RF circuit on here. Um, at first, this thing was on the mall like you wouldn't believe. This thing was dead key and like 180 watts pulling what was it like 18 amps swinging backwards so um i actually didn't do any in, uh retuning actually i did no retuning on the input and out we did uh just rework the uh resistor network on this puppy right here i added some more uh piping <laughs> as a buddy of mine calls it do the piping in the do the plumbing, you can see the plumbing, do the plumbing, I added some more plumbing here, <laughs> I had to uh, basically re uh, break up the RF circuit, and uh, send the RF through this wire here to the, to the switch right here, so when this is turned on high, it will bypass this 100 ohm resistor, and go straight back via this um, white wire right here, right here, and then go through this 20 ohm, See, when it was on high was the big problem. So this 20 ohm backs it down to where you have some swing. You have some swing on the amperage, which is a big deal. You want that swing on the amperage. When that amperage is back and back, your, your transistors are saturated. So this amp will do very well with a 5 watt radio. Very well with a 5 watt radio. And then, of course, on low, it's going to go through the 100 ohm and the 20. All right, let's go ahead and do an output test. And uh, I think that's about it. Uh, 
I redone the, put two new 10 ohms on here. Um, I put a new 1K right here. And I took one off and combined them. And I believe that is it, other than the preamp transistor. Alrighty, had to do a lot of troubleshooting too. Alrighty, this is what we're going to be putting into it. Let's turn the radio on. Audio t t t t t audio 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 Eleven watt dead key. Oh, check, 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 check. Audio, 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 audio. All right, about 160, 170 watts. Let's pop her on high. We're gonna have a little higher, higher dead key this time. Oh, che 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 che. Let's bust three hundred. Oh, di oh 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 di oh. Almost. That's about sixty swinging two ninety. Oh, perfect, perfect dead key and swing. Oh, che 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 che. Oh, di oh di oh di oh. Alrighty. We do got a little bit more reflect in this amp. Uh, some of them are going to have higher reflect than others. I did try to put a trimmer in here and tune it out, but um, ah, shit. Sorry about that, y'all. <laughs> Excuse me. That's when you're glad you got a, a power supply with protection in it. Those, those, uh, these two leads are kind of short, and them damn alligator clips were touching. I was about to say, man, this amp done failed on me while I'm doing the video on it. Come on, now. All right, hey, hey, that's another thing, fellas. I ain't never going to hide reflect from y'all either now. I ain't going to sit here and hide reflect. I'm going to show you what the damn amp's doing. Hey, let the people talk, let the people walk. I'm going to show you what it's doing. I'm going to admit to you, hey, this box has a little bit more reflect than a lot of the other boxes I've dealt with. There ain't no, man, this is a hobby. I'm showing y'all what how this particular amp's performing on my bench. Here's the reflect for this particular amp. 10 watt slug. Audio, audio, audio. Turn it back on. Audio, 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 audio. So we're looking at the oh, we're looking at about 250 to 300 milliwatts of reflect, which still is not bad. It's not bad. It's a little more than what I like to have, but it still is nothing to gripe about. I mean, I can have all the way up to a watt worth of reflect and not have something to be worried about. I will try to get it down, but. This is a little higher than usual, but still 300 milliwatts full output. That's still good. All right. Let's bump this thing up to 15.2 volts. Let's see what she's going to do, fellas. Ah, man, this light's on here. This, uh... All right. Let's see what she's going to do here. Let's put her on low. No, Alright, about 190 didn't change much. Let's put her on high. No, there we go. Alrighty, about 340, same reflect. Actually, a little bit less reflect. Oh, audio, audio, audio. 
Uh, about 250 milliwatts of reflect. So that's about 340, uh, wasn't it? Three forty PEP. It's a fairly good amp. Great sideband talking amp. This right here is cold as a cucumber. Now I was having some problems with it getting fairly warm. I think that's why a lot of people actually use two transistors to to uh, equal the heat out of both of them, so they won't have to use a heat sink. But a uh, fairly nice amp. Um, I was thinking about selling both of them until I seen how well this did work after I got done with it. It's got a big heat sink on it. I like that. It's a clean amp. Very unique amp. If you can see in there, there's a lot of stuff I don't even understand. But but uh, that thing is equipped with uh, one, two, three, four switching transistors. <laughs> it's definitely um, a sophisticated little amp. So there you go. Palomar 300. This is a keeper for myself. We're going to go put it with the rest of the collections in the old treasure chest. Mr. Gatekeeper, another repair. On to the next. I'm going to give a shout out to my boy Mr. Real Deal out there. Anybody got any uh, broke amps that you need to get rid of and sell? That's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for cheap, cheap broke amps. That's what I'm looking for. That's what I do. That's what I enjoy. Any amps repaired, holler at me. T H R E E M A N P R O, three man pro at gmail.com. I am damn sure not the best, but I'm just trying to hang with the rest. <laughs> hey, if I can't do it, I ain't going to lie to you. Hey, I try to keep it real. Like them cool boys say, we trying to keep it real. Need transformers, base boxes, power supplies, holler at me. 25 all the way to 100 amp. Cheaper, cheap, cheapest you can find on the net. Holler at me, we'll get you hooked up. Mr. Gatekeeper said it, we good and gone.